Hey everyone, and welcome back. We got a, we got another wintry day outside, so we're at the saw bench here, and we got a 291 in for a repair. Just got it fixed up, so we're gonna go out in a little bit to see if it cuts good. But I figure it's a good time to compare it against the 261, which is the pro saw. So we'll compare the farm saw and the pro saw. All right, so at first glance, they'll look really similar. This 261 is a 50 cc. So it's a 50 cc. And if we go over to the, the 291 here, The 291 is a 56. So basically the same class saw. They're pretty close to the same size. We got both an 18 inch bar on them to do a cut test. But we'll get right into the major differences here. So on, so on this operating side, on the pro model, you'll have elasto start, which is a little bit of give in the handle there. And on the 291 Farm Boss, you'll just have a, a standard handle. Both plastic covers, plastic cover. They both have flip caps, so nothing different there. So it's not too different on this side. Both handles, both wrap handles are plastic. They're the same wrap handle. Once we go over to the front, the major difference, this is a cast, cast magnesium. And on this side over here, that's just plastic. So the main build is plastic, magnesium. Mufflers are the same. The 261 has fish gills cut into it. But other than that, it's the same. Now we go over to the right side of the saw. You get your carb adjustments. These are both carb models. You'll notice on the 261, it's got a decomp on this. 291 there's no decomp uh, and the only major difference here is this cover is plastic and this is magnesium again and the pro models will have captured nuts and this one is not captured they're just a standard nut so let's pop these off and we'll show you the clutch differences all right, popping both clutches off. They both take a three quarter inch scrunch or socket, whatever you're using. So as you can see here, they just, they're just loose bar nuts, just your standard. Inside of this clutch cover, this is your deflector chute, it's just molded into the cover, pressed in. Pop that off real quick. And now the 261 cover. So as you can see, those are captured in there. Won't fall off. That's nothing too new. Uh, this has a, a rubber deflector shield here because this is all magnesium. Capture nuts. And other than that, it's pretty similar. Just one's plastic, one's magnesium. Take this bar off. Okay, so 291 clutch, you can see. This is all plastic. There's your chain adjuster. Metal, aluminum uh, chain catcher. 
and just stamp steel uh, spikes. And the biggest difference here will be you got a spur drum instead of a replaceable sprocket. Three shoe clutch, pretty standard still clutch. And under this clutch is your oil pump. And on these two, 290 ones, I believe they are plastic. So it's a plastic oil pump housing. Just to save a dollar. I believe the chain brakes are the same. And over on the still side here, over on the 261 side, you can see it's all a little different. The chain brake, you can take off just this cover here, and then you have access to clean out your chain brake. So the still has the replaceable spur sprocket. Same kind of dealio, three shoe clutch, needle bearing. Needle bearing and a little aluminum housing. It's good to oil these every now and then. All right, let's pop these all back together and we'll look at the top end. All right, now we're getting into the top end, the 291 here. We'll just have standard screws. These are a Torx 27 or a flathead. And then the cover comes off in one piece. And on the 261, you'll have quarter turn, quarter turn flathead. And then it comes off. You see how much quicker that is? Just to get inside. They look really similar. So we'll show you here. All right, so the 291 will have a felt filter, just a standard twist off one layer filter and the 261 will have a, a pleated filter kind of automotive style now you'll see how these filters do they don't do the best job you get a lot of fines coming in through but they work it hasn't blown up yet uh, t -t 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 carburetors are almost the same this one you got more adjustment on your low end while this one has two lockouts so you just can't adjust the high too much on this one just a little bit but the low is not restricted uh, throttles throttles are the same it's all pretty well the same there other than the carburetor slightly different so the biggest difference between these two saws is how they're built. So this one's a clamshell design. So it's built kind of from the bottom. While this one is built kind of from the top down. So you can take the cylinder off just with T27 bolts. Take your T27 sticker down the cylinder and you can rebuild the top end that way. While this one, you gotta take the handle off and everything then the t27 torx nuts are on the bottom then you can take your cylinder off that way so the cylinder and the top side of the crankcase is is one design i had one somewhere but so the the bottom of the cylinder cradles the top side of each crank bearing while this one the crank bearing is pressed into the crank halves. So the halves get pressed together with your crank. And then it's, you just bolt your cylinder on the top. So like a standard two stroke. So those are definitely more rebuildable. These are more of a throwaway. Well, that's the, the major difference here between the Pro Series model, the 261 and the farm Farmer model which is a, the 291. Six cc's more, clamshell design, plastic crankcase, uh, no elasto start. 
no captured nuts, plastic, plastic cover on the bar. And these aren't the, the speed ones either. And you just got standard screws here. But with all those differences, how much of a difference does it make while cutting? We got two sharp chains, two 18 inch bars. And this one's six cc's bigger than the 261. So let's get these bars on, get outside in the snow. Uh, it's slowing down a bit. So we'll get outside, we'll see how these cut. All right, we're out in our scrap pile. We got a nice piece of pine here. It's still fairly solid. And we're right at 18 inches. So this is the 261, same size bar. Both saws are warm. Both saws are warm, so we're gonna do a couple up down slices. Both saws are sharp. And we'll let you decide. They should be fairly close, but we'll see. So we're, we'll start with the, the 291 Farm Boss. They're both the same, same starting procedure. It's working good. It is sharp. That is a that's a steel chain. 325. This is an Oregon chain, 325. The Oricon chain didn't like going up, but I think it's a little loose. So I felt like the 261 is quite a bit faster. It's a little bit lighter too. I can feel that difference. Um, can you go wrong with the 291 for what it's meant to be, a farm saw? No, they're great saws. As you can see, they cut good. So let's get a few more shots of cutting here for you. Oh, <laughs> 